Hello guys, Smart Polly here. Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to make a tropical island in Unreal Engine using only free assets available to us. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. So the base project that we will be using is the Community Ocean Project. I've covered this a lot in my previous videos. And to download this, you just want to go to their GitHub page. The link will be in the description. And then I'm going to be using the Legacy 4.2. 2.2 version, so I'll just select that and clone and download it. I'm going to be using this with the 4.22 release of Unreal Engine. I'm also going to be using Quixel Bridge and Megascans. You also want to make sure that you install the Megascans plugin to Unreal Engine version 4.22. And if you guys don't know what Megascans is, you definitely want to watch my previous video that I uploaded. After you finish downloading the Ocean project, you just want to go ahead and unzip the file and open up the project with Unreal Engine 4.22. Once it's finished compiling all the shaders and loading, we're going to have this default scene in here. And basically, we're going to go ahead and, and just delete all of the buoyancy actors in here. We don't need some of this stuff. Okay, go ahead, delete this, the boats. You can leave the boats if you want, but I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. All right, then we'll just drag a SK mannequin right in and play around with the lighting. Uh, so just click anywhere on the sky, you're going to get the sky dome actor and we can go ahead and change the lighting in there so we can change the sunlight intensity a little bit down we can change the skylight intensity a little bit higher and it's already looking a little bit better okay we can also change the sunlight directional light to have a temperature a more warmer kind of tropical temperature Okay, now we can go ahead and go to bridge. So go ahead and open up Quixel Bridge. We're gonna go get some textures here for our landscape material. Uh, we're gonna use this Thai beach sand texture. I'm just gonna change it down to 4K. Then I'm gonna hit the Thai beach sand, rippled sand, and then some grass uncut here. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and export these right into the engine. And then we're gonna create our new material, call it the M underscore landscape. Open this up, we're gonna create a landscape layer blend. And we're gonna give it three layers here for now. Then we'll go ahead and copy in all of the textures, the three sand textures as well as a grass texture. And then what we're gonna do is click on the landscape layer blend, expand all these little windows. Uh, the first one will be grass, the second one will be sand normal, the third one will be sand, and the last one will be sand wet. Okay, so just change the first one to the alpha blend, and then we can start hooking up all of our nodes. And it really doesn't matter which nodes you hook up, I mean as long as the grass is the grass, and you can choose which sand ones you want to use. Uh, one of the sand textures is going to be used for the wet sand texture. Okay, so we can start hooking up these to the blends. Uh, one thing we want to add is a pixel depth with a subtract of 5000. And then you can lerp that with A and B of a texture. And you can also use the landscape coordinates. Just duplicate the texture again. Set one of the coordinates to 4 and set the other one to 45. We can lerp those two textures uh, basically to have a fade for a far out texture versus a close up texture. That way we can, you know, fix the tiling. All right, we can go ahead and do this for all of the rest of the textures as well as the normal maps. And in fact, I'm just going to go ahead and only use the albedo and normal maps to make it a little bit more simpler. Okay, so if we just hook up that pixel depth to all the lerps and then hook up all of the texture coordinates to all the normals and then into our layer blends. Then we can also duplicate the landscape layer blend for our roughness and metallic and specular and basically we're just going to give the all the materials a roughness while this the sand wet layer is going to be a, obviously a bit more specular. Alright then we can go ahead go into our scene delete our landscape here and we're going to create a new one Give it 2017 by 2017 and assign it to our M landscape. Okay, so we're just going to scope this a little bit up so we can see it. And then what we want to do is go to our landscape paint mode and assign our layers weight, blended layer, normal. And go ahead and create those for all of our layers. Okay, let it load for a little bit. Go ahead and paint our entire landscape with the sand wet. So I actually had to go back into our material and add a clamp. 
uh, to the pixel depth as well as to divide pixel depth by 75,000. That way it fades in a little bit better. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and paint the entire landscape uh, just with the sand wet texture. And then we're gonna go ahead and start sculpting the basic shape of our tropical island. Um, if you look at reference images, it's gonna be a lot easier. All right, so we can zoom up here. As you can see, I'm getting this little bug where like the waves are kind of weird. Didn't really figure out why I'm getting this bug, but basically you can just take the ocean component and move it like move it like 200, 300 uh, units like in the other direction and it will basically just relocate that. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and select the ocean here and start tweaking some of the settings. First, we're gonna go ahead and scroll to the very bottom here under the ocean and wave clusters array. Here we can adjust the length, the amplitude, and the steepness of the waves. That way we can make it a more subtle, a more calmer ocean. Okay, we can also tweak the colors here. So we can just choose a dark color, a light color, and then the shallow water color. I'm also gonna tweak the opacity so that we get a more transparent ocean. Okay, and then we can go ahead and start sculpting some more on our island here. Uh, basically, I'm just going to make the land gradually incline. As you can see here, I'm just going to sculpt a little bit part. We can start painting all of our other textures onto here. We're going to use the just normal sand, beach sand texture to fade in from the wet sand texture. Then we can also start painting the grass texture on top of that for our grass. Okay, so we also need to tweak the grass a little bit. Maybe we'll go ahead and change the landscape coordinates for that to lower than four uh, to something like two. That way the tiling is a little bit better. We can also multiply the color with the vector parameter so we can get a darker green color. Okay, we can go ahead and do this for both if we want to. All right, so it looks a little bit more darker, but I might change that a little bit later again. Okay, and then what I'm also gonna do over here is just sculpt like a little island and kind of just add a little inlet right there. All right, and we'll sculpt and kind of smooth things out. And then we also need to go back into our landscape material and adjust um, some of the roughness, make everything else kind of uh, value 0.7 more rough, and then give the sand wet texture to be not so rough. Okay, we can also import some more assets into our project here. If you go to the marketplace, we can go to free content, permanently free collection. And if we scroll down here, we're gonna find the tropical vegetation. We're gonna get the banana plants. And then we can also get the pandas plants here. Once you finish getting those for free, we can go ahead and add them to your project. So go ahead and download those and just add to your project. We're gonna open up Bridge. We're gonna get a few assets here. We'll get the Chinese fan palm, and we'll also get some of these Thai beach rocks. Okay, so once we finish exporting that into the engine, we can go ahead and start dragging some of these rocks in here, scaling them up, and kind of positioning them right here on the beach. All right, so we can also bring in some of these other rocks here. I found this Thai beach rock pack. I'm gonna go ahead and export that in. All right, and then we can go ahead and drag all of the rocks once it's loaded into our paint tool for our foliage. As you can see here, it's too small, so we can adjust the painting scale, give it a minimum of 10 and a maximum of, say, 20. As you can see here, we can start painting some of these rocks onto the beach, and we can also adjust the brush size and the paint density so it's less dense. All right, we can also start painting our trees onto the island. We're going to go into the three tropical trees that we got. We'll go ahead and select all of these, wait for it to compile, then we can drag and drop into our foliage tool here, unselect the rocks, and select all of the trees. We can adjust our paint scale to make our trees uh, paint larger variations. I'm going to change it to a minimum of two and a maximum of four. Then we can just make our brush size large and start painting. As you can see, some of these trees have, you know, really long roots. So if you paint it, you know, over on the sand area, that's fine. That's, you know, normally where those trees would be. Okay, so we can also paint this little island over here as well with some more trees. And we might also have to change the, the grass uh, color because it doesn't really match up with the trees. All right, and as you can see here, it's looking 
pretty good so far. And we can also start duplicating more of these rocks here. And then I also want to kind of fix this little island over here and make it more of a secluded sort of island. We're going to smooth this part out and sculpt this out. Okay, it's already looking really good. We can also get some of our Chinese table palm. We can drag all those to our foliage tool and set up the scale to something like 1 and 2.5. And then we can paint those kind of on the ground around all the trees. All right, I'm going to go back into my landscape material and actually just plug in the texture samples uh, right back into the lerp. Okay, and it looks better, way better now. So as you can see here, we have a pretty good looking landscape so far. Uh, real quick work. Um, honestly, it was more of a rough draft, I think. And we got some pretty good results uh, just using some of the Quixel assets here and uh, painting it right on the landscape. And just using a really simple landscape material, we got some really good results. But I mean, as you can see here, we have, you know, kind of the wet texture for the sand. You can also add, you know, some shells and some driftwood and stuff like that from Quixel. But as you can see here, we can run around our scene, swim in the water here. And yeah, I mean, the scene looks pretty good um, for the for, uh, amount of time we spent on it. Uh, I saw it's a lot of work, but I'll leave that up to you guys. You guys can go ahead and just play around with all the assets that you spawn into your map. So yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much going to be it for this tutorial. Hope you guys learned something. Definitely interested to see what you guys make. So if you guys want to share that, you can go ahead and join the Discord. Link will be in the description. And yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.